so so our friends are visiting tomorrow and we have blankets under the bed time to fight with the bed and get them out Done, bed back to normal and then Amy got some slightly warmer jumpers out of the suitcases as it's starting to get cold. Wes is at work just taking the blankets to the laundrette just to give them a freshen up before our friends use them and then we're gonna do some tidying. evening taking the toilets and the bins emptying it's a little bit of a walk because we didn't want to move the boat um only about five minutes but we, that's why we got the trolley cassettes and bins done back to the boat amy's got a stream and need to find something for dinner and then we're chilling because our friends get here tomorrow morning exactly what I wanted. Mm. Our friends are coming here today. We're just on the way to meet them from the car park because I think they got a little bit lost. So we're going to go meet them. Amy's had a tidy of the boat and I've been to Tesco, got us some food. Hopefully we'll be able to have a barbecue if the weather holds out, but if not, we can cook it inside. We're just trying to find where they are. The problem is, is that they're both sort of online friends. So we don't know what one of them looks like. and We don't know what car they're in. <laughs> Probably should have figured that out first. We took our friends, Polly and Fleur, on a big long cruise so we could show them the ropes of the canals. We showed them some locks, aqueducts, and it was so fun to just catch up and chat while we went on a big cruise. failing to build the barbecue in the middle of the night. <laughs> All of it. One. <laughs> That'll do. <laughs> we just need the coal to catch fire and then we're good, but... <laughs> we need something to poke it with. We need something... Maybe it was just a bit. Yeah, but the thing is, they're just going to burn out. Because we want the fire to be over here too. So the next step in the official barbecue guide is shred up an old box and roast it. <laughs> You're supposed to be poking it through with your pokey stick. Step two of the oh. fire, shred up more documents <laughs> and then whack coals with a hammer. <laughs> you always see people doing this in their gardens, don't you? This is normal. Every day. Yeah. After several failed attempts to light the barbecue with stove coals and bits of paper, we gave up and just decided to cook it inside instead. 
Next morning before we set off we checked out a trading boat and it was lovely and then Rufus stood on a wasp. And then it just says to keep an eye out for an allergic reaction. Poor Rufus. We are just going back. We went over, we ended up going all the way over the Ponte Sicto, <laughs> over the, that aqueduct, um, just so our friends could see it. And we went all the way over last night. The barbecue was a fail, so we're heading back now to Ellesmere, and then tonight, hopefully, we can have a more successful barbecue. And yeah, we're just having a day of cruising, chilling out. Our friends really enjoy walking along the towpath with Rufus. And he's feeling better now after his wasps thing, so. couple that we just saw on your hire boat and you said hello to us it was so lovely to meet you <laughs> We're just walking to a thing called the Sausage and Cider Festival. It seems to be like an annual thing that happens here and seeing as it's on while we're close by we're just going to go and have a look. At the moment it just looks like a lot of children screaming. I can see disco lights. Promising. <laughs> the Sausage and Cider Fest wasn't quite to our taste. It was quite a lot of children and alcohol and meat. We don't really like those things so probably could have seen that come in but yeah we're back at the boat now we're cooking some food pretty much what we ate yesterday because we really enjoyed it and we're having a second take at having a fire outside take two that sounds so scary. it doesn't sound legit at all just like the bag <laughs> yeah it's <laughs> like a ghost it's perfect i love it i'm too hot <laughs> it's like a weird ceremony. <laughs> now we wait. Okay, go. Please don't burn your hands, Amy. Me. It's chocolate. Oh, that Just with a grill, like. The sausage is trying their best. They've only got limited cold. Grubs up. <laughs> Meat is... back on the menu, boys. <laughs> <laughs> is it wrong that I am actually feeling sorry for the sausage now because he's being bullied and everyone's laughing at him? Yes, it's wrong. <laughs> Talking. We've levelled up substantially <laughs> from last night's failed attempt. <laughs> yeah, 
sausage a la semi toast. <laughs> sausage a la Pringle. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. A handful of snacks. <laughs> Great. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> the paparazzi. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever drops it first, <laughs> that's the rule. I've got to drop this one. Oh, you want me to? Holly isn't ready for the challenge. We spent the next morning eating loads of crumpets and then Polly drove us to Whittington so we could visit the castle. It's about time you gave me suitable accommodation. Our friends have gone home now. We miss you. Um, so we've just been to the shop to get some things for dinner tonight. It's raining. Um, we don't fancy moving. So we're just going to move the boat a little bit up the canal um, where there's a better solar spot because we're currently right under the trees. And then hopefully we can settle there for the week. The signal in the spot that we thought was good was really rubbish. So going through a tunnel and then on the other side there's a really nice scenic bit that we quite like the look of when we came in this way so hopefully there's some signal around there and we can moor up there so we're going a little bit further than we wanted to we also had to panic rescue a, a river boy that fell into the water <laughs> oh, my friends have only just gone and <laughs> it's already just stressful again Just tried the stream, spent about an hour trying to get it to work, Wes kept going out in the rain, wiggling the aerial. The rain really, really impacts the signal of the internet. Feeling a bit sad, but yeah, we're just going to have some pasta and watch some film, like maybe a film and just get cosy um, and try and appreciate the beautiful spot that we're in. Get wound up in all the details of like, the internet's not very good, we haven't got solar power in this spot. But then sometimes when you look at it and it's like, it's a beautiful spot. I'm coming down off a bit of a high as well. Like it was so lovely having friends visiting. They were the first people that have been with us while we've been cruising and just having three days with them, just exploring and showing them everything and just having a fun time. And then coming right off the back of that into just a stressful evening is, it's just been quite hard. So hopefully, just some coziness this evening and a good sleep will help us. Garlic bread will help too. <laughs> We've been moored in this beautiful spot overlooking the lake. 
but because of internet connection um, for Wes's work and my stream we're having to move and leave it because it's just too covered and the internet's just too bad here for us to stay for a whole week but we enjoyed it for a day and it's just so beautiful look at it so we're just gonna go turn around and head water back towards Ellesmere um, town and hopefully we can get a good spot there with good enough internet for a week and then <laughs> once we've took Rupi the rabbit on Thursday to the vets because that's why we're staying around the Ellesmere area because we need transport links up to Wrexham for the vets and once we've finished that which is on Thursday we can like start covering more distance and head in on our next big journey so we're just going to go back to Ellesmere because we know the internet's good there the bilge pump's playing up it's basically the thing that pumps at any excess water out of the engine bay out and normally it's on auto so once it detects water's in there it'll kind of start pumping it out but I don't think auto's working anymore that is not good. so when the engine's not running it's still dripping but that's about the same as it has been since we bought the boat um which we're kind of used to. We know it needs fixing, but it's not urgent. Oh, it's stopped. Has it stopped? It's slowed it's right now. Slow. So now the engine dripping while it's on is a new thing. So, Well, because when we moved the boat just now, it's such a short journey that we didn't, we haven't done the stern gland, greased it. It was dripping loads. I've just turned the engine off and turned it and now it's dripping a lot less but we just need to see if that was coincidence because we turned the engine off or whether turning the stone gland really makes that much of a difference some people we've seen say only turn that after you've done your trip because that's when the engine's warm so the grease will flow through better we just tried that and it made our <laughs> engine leak but i think that's because we might already just have a small leak that's kind of like held off by greasing it regularly. So it's driven a lot less now. The other thing that we think might have caused a lot more water in there is that the drains can get blocked. So we've got just a big pipe cleaner. Hmm. There wasn't much gunk in there then. Maybe we are sinking. We've got a beautiful view and i'm gonna make some banana and oat pancakes for breakfast i'm not very good at cooking so i'm gonna try <laughs> So Wes is at work today, so I'm just taking Doops the rabbit to the vets. He just needs his second vaccination. He had his other ones two weeks ago, but now he just needs his second dose, which I'm actually very excited about because then the pets are kind of sorted for the year. And this was the last thing that was holding us near Ellesmere because that's why we've kind of been hanging around for a little bit because um, the vets is near here. So after this, today, we're kind of free to do whatever we want and go wherever we want. 
which is very exciting. Just take a roof out for a casual jog. Turns out I'm only unfit. And he's really quick. I am unable to keep up with my dog while running. I'm back in the engine bay, determined to stop the leak. I've looked it up and the leak is from the stuffing box. And I'm hoping that just tightening it will work. Last time I tried to tighten it, but I don't think I did it quite right. So I'm going to try again this time, and I really hope that that'll do it for now, but we'll see. So I tightened both sides. I didn't think I've over tightened it because I can still spin this pretty easily. All this grease on the inside I don't think is a good sign. Because I think it means that the grease isn't going that way where it needs to go and it's coming out this way. Hopefully now I've tightened it, it should stay. Some of the door just fell into the engine bay. That's just pinged off. And gone all the way in there. Great. A great big thank you to Gary for the chips this week. If you like this episode, please consider liking and subscribing and following us on our socials. Thanks also to Jilly for the motivational comment. See you next week.